Namaste everyone, my name is Aditi Sharma and welcome to Physics Khira. So, today we are going to be discussing over a very interesting topic which is kind of a thing that you won't be able to know if it is there or not. You, some of you might be able to guess dark matter. So, dark matter, are we able to detect it yet? Some people are claiming, is that so? We don't know because that is like a huge miss. People are claiming but are we able to detect or things like that so every single thing and all those questions we are going to be answering in this particular video so to begin with how like the dark matter thing or they have been detected they came into existence a they have not yet been detected b a particular research team they had been claiming about the detection of the dark matter particles for a long period of time but they have not yet been approved so so as to begin with in italy right beneath the grand sasso mountain they have just inculcated and they have been using 25 crystals of sodium iodide for the detection of dark matter particles in order to do that the sodium iodide crystals they have been sealed completely inside the copper boxes and those copper boxes they have been covered under the huge rock of mountains the same mountain so why are we covering under the uh, them under the mountain rocks the reason behind them is that in order to prevent it from the exposure to other cosmic ray particles that is why we are covering it with the mountain rocks so this is how the entire setup has been made so why are we using the sodium iodide crystal that is actually the next question skipping into the next question that why are we using the crystals of sodium iodide basically in order to begin with this firstly let us know about that what are actually the dark matter particles these are the weakly interacting massive particles the particles that interact very weakly means they do not interact strongly in any way and they are massive in nature. The question is how massive are they? So they are approximately 1000 times more massive than the protons. Now skipping to the next part, we are saying that these are the weakly interacting matter, massive particles. A huge contender of that particular category of the hypothetically exotic particles is neutrino but the neutrinos have not yet been added to the list the reason behind is that they are very less massive in nature and that is why the researchers they have not yet added it up now the next thing is that we are using the sodium iodide crystals so actually the ultra pure form of sodium iodide crystals is actually interacted sorry extracted from deep under ocean so as to prevent uh, the radioactive contamination of that particular element that is why we use it now so as to begin the process we are using the particles so how will it help us in the detection of the dark matter particles the thing is that the dark matter particles as i stated earlier these are the massive particles so since they are massive in nature and if something massive will interact with the heavy nuclear what will happen the nucleus was actually uh, it will actually get slightly displaced and while it will get displaced the trace will be left behind the displacement in the position of nuclear is actually caused to such a great extent that it will result in the center of electron cloud will also be getting displaced as a result of that now the center of electron cloud is getting displaced and as a result of that the electrons will get excited to the excited state and while they be coming to their grounded state the gamma photon would be emitted and that gamma photon will actually give you the flashes across the crystal so this is how with the help of the flashes that we are getting we would be getting to know about the dark matter particles Switching to the next question, are we able to detect the dark matter particles? Uh, that is actually an ambiguous question because since 2008, a team of researchers working at DAMA, they have been claiming that they have detected the dark matter particles uh, by the several flashes of light that they have been receiving through their sodium iodide crystals. Um, they were saying that they were able to detect more number of flashes during the month of June. The reason behind is that the planet moves with a very high velocity during that particular month in our galaxy. That is why it was able to detect a lot of dark matter particles as compared to the month of December where the planet moves in the direction opposite to that of Sun and as a result of which a less number of particles comparatively was detected. Ever since then, the team, were, the team had actually been claiming that they have been able to detect a lot of times the particles but <clears throat> it was not kind of elaborating the results and that is why other team of researchers 
several other teams they decided that they would copy the same set of instrumentation that they had been following and they will follow the same approach in order to see that if they are also able to get the same result or not the experiments were performed and everybody else basically failed but currently another team of researchers working at cosine 100 they had been following the same approach but with a slightly different scheme the scheme that they had been following is actually like um, they have this they have been working in south korea deep under the 750 meters and with that they are using the crystals of sodium iodide which is approximately the way of 106 kg that sodium iodide crystals they have immersed in 2200 liters of some kind of we can say a special kind of liquid they had been using and i have forgotten the name but i will mention that in the description box below so that is what they had been using and they have completely covered it with lead in order to protect it from all sort of radiation for the covered with the photo something sort of stuffs they had been using and another layer had been added more to it the plastic scintillators the photo scintillators in order to prevent and uh, in order to detect the neutrinos because the, uh, those scintillators they will detect the neutrinos and those trajectories will be removed from that particular trajectories which we are willing to have so that way we would be able to detect the dark matter particles but again they have been working and they have not yet been able to detect and match the results that the team at Ga dama they had been getting but the project has an age of 10 years so let's see that if they are able to match with the results which the team at dama they had been getting or not so this is all about the dark matter and i think the video was quite enough so we will meet in the next video till then bye bye and stay tuned